Hello, Michaela and Indy. Um, first of all, congratulations on winning the Leicester Mercury Young Sportswoman and the Junior Sportswoman. Can we ask you a few questions? So, Michaela, how does it feel winning such a prestigious award? It's really rewarding after like all the hard work you put in for weeks, for years. I've been doing it for years, so to get this award, it's really just, it's so good. To, it makes you feel really good about what you're doing. And Indy, how do you feel about it? Um, it's filled me with a lot of confidence and I feel like I'm striving now to keep pushing and like achieve more things and better things. And um, still with you Indy, how's the winning affected your running? It, well, it's made me like, I want to push harder now and it's just, it's made me realise what's out there. I never really knew I could win a, an, an award like that. So it's filled me with so much like potential and confidence. And how do you think it will affect your swimming, Kayla? Um, this season's been like, it's really motivated me with Olympic trials coming up. So this award's kind of like pushed me to train harder and I've actually been thinking about what I can achieve. And then obviously getting this award makes you think about what the future holds. So uh, what inspires you and motivates you to keep going? Um, I say like my surroundings, so my family and my coaches are so they're so supportive and then the people around me, so British Swimming, are always like inspiring me and the younger swims actually inspire me because they look up to you and it's just so helpful because they see you as such like an inspiration and that makes you feel good and it makes you want to train hard. And what about you Indian? Yeah, it's, I'm quite similar, like my family um, is what kind of keeps me going and fills me with so much confidence, like, especially when you have your lows. Um, they, they rise you up, make you feel good about yourself, which makes you keep striving forward. And what's next on your sporting calendar? What big events have you got coming up? Um, I've got Midlands Cross Country Race uh, this weekend, and then I'm heading towards English Schools Cross Country, and then the track season. Fantastic. And what about you? Um, I'm flying to Luxembourg on Thursday for a Euro meet, so a lot of Olympians will be there and everything, and then in April I'll have Olympic trials. And do you have both have long-term goals, start with you, Wendy? Um, my long-term goal is under-18 European track race, um, which is would be amazing to get to. And you? <laughs> um, make the Olympic team this year. That would be amazing, yep. Yeah. Um, how do you juggle your academic work, social life, home life while you're training? Start with you. I find it quite hard. But the more I've done it, the easier it is for me. Like this year, I'm finding it much easier than like year seven. Um, but I think it's just trying to time it. Um, I tend to come home from school, do work, then go training, come back and do a bit more work. But it's hard, but I do juggle it. And what about you? Yeah, it's the same. So like I've learned over the years how to do it. So I, I don't have that. I have to go straight to training. But as soon as I come back, I start working. I will work through my lunches if I need to. Fantastic. And finally, both of you, what advice can you give for people who would like to take up swimming or running? Michaela? <laughs> um, I'd say stick to it because it gets so hard, especially around like 15, 16 for girls, swimming does. But honestly, if you keep going, it's really rewarding. And I think if you need help to ask the coach or ask like an old athlete, it's... It's like I had that when I was younger and it's kept me going. That's good. What about you Indy? I say like to strive to be your best and like even when you reach those like low points, like don't lose your confidence and feel like I don't want to do it anymore, keep going and then eventually you'll reach like I can do this and you'll feel lots of confidence. Brilliant, thank you. Well congratulations again and thank you for coming to talk to us.